my mom always told me, said, I had you in my like in my belly, and she said, like, yeah, you, I think you had already skates and uh, gloves and a stick in your hand. My name is Jumel Tillian. Yeah, I'm from uh, Quebec, Laval. He was uh, seven, eight years old. One day we said something, and he said, oh, what's we gonna, what, what we will do with my career? I was like, eh? He said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be an NHL player, an hockey player. Jimmy uh, understood his role uh, and, and never second guessed. Uh, you know, he, he did what he was told. He did with a smile. And, and when we talk about passion and enthusiasm, that's a big thing. Yeah, I love the game. So I love the game even like outside of the ring. I was three or four years old. Uh, my father bring me at the ring for just like um, free skating, how you call it. Like uh, we just go there without skate, uh, stick anything. And just like you skate around and everything. So I went there. I was starting to cry. I said, ah, I don't want to be there. Blah, blah, blah. So his dad said, no, I'm going to give him a stick, hockey stick. So we gave it to him and he started skating. I was, oh my goodness. My mom was like, I think she's, she's my number one fan. Like she was there since day one. She's still there. Even the Saturday morning, they work like to five the whole week. And Saturday morning, I'm, it's 5 a.m. Like, yeah, I'm going practicing and they, they wake up. I remember like when we were playing half ice, that's how it works. I was like scoring like 13 goals a game, 15 goals a game. Like my dad told me, he said, okay, you scored 13 goals. You don't need one more goal. Just like try to play with everyone. I said, all right, I'll try to, you know, make some pass and everything. So I went around the net. Everyone was chasing me. I was just waiting for like someone to come. And after I did that, uh, the next week, they came to see my dad, hey, can you want them to put him like another level? At my 19 years season, I came in Victoriaville and Louis was my coach over there. And I think I put like 60 points that year. I didn't expect that. 18 goals, I was like, huh? And then Louis, my coach, told me, he said, hey, man, keep going. You never know what can happen. And I got traded to Rimouski. A couple of scouts were there. We're talking to them, hey, how are you, blah, blah, blah. And just, you know, get in a little conversation. The next day, my agent called me and said, hey, we have a contract. I actually called Louis. I said, Louis, I need to talk to you like, right now. It's important. Call me right away. I said, hey, Jimmy, how are you? I'm good, yeah. Yeah, Louis, I have two teams, one signed me. Oh, so he congrats me. He said, that's nice, perfect. I, I know one time we'll pay off. He said, you know what? Like, both organizations, NHL, like, it's nice over there. But he said, when a GM is coming to see you, that's a big thing. I said, all right, all right. I'll think about it. And then next day, I called my agent. I said, you know what? I'm going with Tampa. You really came to see me. It's a big thing. So, a Bontanato behind the net. In front, shoots, scores! Jimmy Huntington buries the feed from a Bontanato. Just play hockey. Play hockey. Don't think too much. Just go on the ice and take all the little things, the details that, uh, like the coaches are telling me. Just put in the game. That's it. And that's how I approach the game every time. So, yeah. Uh, I'm there right now. So.